it'll start blinking to let us know that it is indeed being updated. Should do a cool new little animation. So it's got that little double intro. Still switch back and then double intro. Weird. Plug myself into the wall here. Now I am grounded. So this is what I want to do specifically. I want to pot this module. Just gonna spin her up. Ooh. This is a 30 pin header. I've done many of these videos, but I'm gonna show you the components that I'm going to use before I start. So what I'd like to do first is put on this header and then I'm gonna start connecting all of the individual wires. But because this has 30 pins and this only has 28 little holes for those pins to go through, I need to remove the very end ones right here first. So I'm just gonna grab with the pliers, and just pluck that little guy out and this one as well. Really quick, we're gonna time lapse. I am going to individually solder all 28 of these guys. These inputs right here are things that we will wire directly into the car. And then these ones are just power and ground for the main unit. We've got our little 12 pin or 12 volt connector here. Our input and output with this 12 volt, it's kind of important, but at the same token, you don't even need to use the output. You can go directly from whatever power source you want right to the LEDs, but it is convenient that Ghost gave us some output sections on the board to wire things up. And that's all of those right there. So that's our power and ground. And then generally the last wire that I do is the power output. You might think that you have a good connection, but then you realize that the solder just balled up right on the bottom instead of really becoming like secure to the board. So make sure you check all of these different connections as you go. Now I'm gonna do our brake light wire. Now we're not really even gonna get to test this ghost module before we stick it in the epoxy. So maybe we'll do a special little treat and we'll actually test and program this one ahead of time and show what it's gonna look like. All right, we are on the last wire. Again, you don't have to do this. There's eight little spots for outputs here. So now I'm going to do our programming wires. Now these, a lot of times what I'll do is just put little pins on them instead of having wires. And that would mean that I have access to the actual ghost module later. Pins are easier to do than what I'm about to do right now. I'm gonna strip the ends of these things and I have to keep them all relatively the same length. But this is where it gets hard. They all kind of have to go in more or less at the same time. I like to line up that little square right there. I like to have a specific wire that I always make sure that is the wire color that goes in that square hole. In this case, it's gonna be this white wire. So I'm gonna get the white one in there. After that, the next one won't be necessarily easy, but it'll be easier and it can't fall out of place anymore. Okay, so those guys are all good. So now we get to test our connection. And to do that, we're gonna take our module over here that has some dead channels and we're gonna hook it up over here. And I know that the other day I disconnected one of the connections here. I'm gonna bring that thing back and then we're gonna talk about making changes in the programming in case you ever have to substitute a channel. We're gonna do that on my online course, not on YouTube, cause it's freaking boring, but it is coming. So for those of you who have access, you will get to see that. So here's what, how we're connecting all this stuff up. This is going straight in here and our power wire is going to connect up at the output. And now we can literally just plug it into the computer with the little pins that I set up on here. There's like a little triangle right here. That triangle points down to the first pin that you need to be lining up, which is where the little square is at on here. So I know in this case, that means that the red wire lined up with the triangle goes to the white wire on the square and now we get to use the computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and flash that to this now. I just have to click the program button and then send that down into the little microcontroller. Cool, and now we get to actually test it. Okay, so as soon as I plug in this ground wire, we should know if there's any issues whatsoever with this ghost module and nothing, no problems. We also know that this is a switchback setup and there it is for the first pass it's gonna do this really slow animation. And the faster that I tap this, the more it's gonna to adjust to that speed. And pretty soon, you've got this much faster, more fluid animation. But again, it does that. And then it does the animation for the white. We can change that to where it just pops back 
onto white without any cool animation. But that actually looks all, all right. Um, this is going to be our new animation that I just added in. So this should do some pretty cool stuff in a second here. Should do that. It's going to start intensifying in speed. It'll do each color once and then it'll do it again faster. That wasn't very cool. <laughs> I thought that was a pretty weak animation, but whatever. It does new things it didn't do before. And we should also have it light up pure amber when I connect this brake light. But here's the thing that I didn't check. Let's see, because I'm giving that power, nothing's working. If we look back to our program where we started changing things, if I go to break, we see that I did add that. But what I didn't do is check this box that says break. And then on the parking light, let's make it a little bit cooler. Five minutes later. And then brake light is now on there. That's the only changes I'm gonna make. I'm gonna recompile this thing. It says that I need to save the project. And now everything's already there. So I'm just gonna click yes to overwrite all of it. Reprogram the hex file. It'll start blinking to let us know that it is indeed being updated. All right, white wire. Should do a cool new little animation. So it's got that little double intro. It's kinda cool. So I'll switch back and then double intro. Weird. Okay. Uh, and then our brake light. And that should work. Boom. All right. We have a ghost module. The last step for me to do today for this video is to show me pouring epoxy on top of this ghost module. And then we're going to revisit this more definitely inside of Sequential Squad showing how to do the animations and program them. We're gonna get with our friend Tim and see if he can give us some awesome animations for the video next week. So let me pour some epoxy into this guy and I will see you guys next Tuesday.